Hey guys, welcome to the New England Scrapper, and today I'm going to give you uh, <clears throat> quick tips on how to sort out um, your wire. Now, before I uh, get into this, I'm going to give a quick disclaimer that every yard is different. Every yard and every board buyer is different. So, what they accept is low grade, mid grade, high grade, or whatever other name or term they use, like number one, number two, or number three. Completely different. You've got to talk to your yard before you bring stuff in and before you separate it. Because the last thing you want to do is throw a bunch of, you know, stuff like this that might be, um, I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, it's kind of it's hard to see the copper inside on this camera. Yeah, that orangey stuff there, that's copper. Anyway, you don't want to throw a bunch of stuff like this and with stuff like this here, you know, and get low grade price for it. You want to get mid-grade price for it. So, before you separate or scrap anything, you should call your uh, call your yard first and figure out what they want to accept is what. So, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is low-grade wire, and that's this stuff here. It's stuff that's got you know plugs on it, stuff that's got you know these clips on it here, these twist tie things, and very low copper content. A lot of places will also accept stuff like this. And even uh, ribbon wire like this is number one. So anything with plugs on it, even uh, even this, like if you put extension cords or something in there and leave the plugs on, that's low grade. Now, if you take it off, like this piece here, this one's going to go as number two or mid-grade wire. It's, uh, I think it's minimum 43% for, uh, for my yard anyway. So these, most of the time you have to take the plugs and any anything like that off. Uh, this stuff goes for about a dollar twenty cents a pound, I think, right now. Uh, for my yard anyway, but yours could be completely different. So the last thing I'm going to get into, and this is pretty much personal preference and again yard preference. This is number one. So basically if you look in there... Uh, you may not be able to see it very well, but it's mostly copper. You're going to get very little trash off of this if you strip it. So one way to tell that it's number one or something that you might want to strip is if you can bend it and it holds that bend. Notice how this here doesn't really hold a bend as well. It's just kind of very floppy and droopy. You're not going to want to strip anything like that unless you're going for just the copper. You may even lose money doing it, but you're definitely not going to make any unless your yard rips you off and pays you way less than they should for wire. Now, something else that you might want to strip and might go as number three or number one for your yard is this right here. This is a, like a two foot section that I'm going to strip later. And if you look, it's got all this nice, nice copper wire in it. This you might want to strip. Again, it depends on your time and what you have for a stripper. If you've got a machine stripper, I'd say go ahead and do it, but only if it makes sense for you. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.